Hey guys, Ray here, and I am really excited to make a huge announcement about Shotcut today. And that has to do with chroma keying, or as most people call it, green screening. Because we've just added that feature into Shotcut, and I wanted to show you how that works. So what I've got here is I've got a project with two layers, and I'm actually gonna choose the bottom layer here. Okay, and we're going to bring in a background video here, which is this industrial background right here. And we're gonna drop that into our timeline. And then we're gonna choose our next layer here. And we're gonna bring in this chiropractor video right here. If with you're experiencing screen. lower back pain. Okay, so we're gonna drop that one in on the top layer. And so now we've got this top layer of video and we've got the bottom layer here. And of course we got him on the green screen, so we're not seeing anything behind him. But now if we head on over to our filters section here, and we hit the little plus button. We'll go to our video filters. You'll notice there's a bunch of new filters in here now. We've got chroma key simple, chroma key advanced. We've also got this alpha channel view, alpha channel adjust, and there's a few other things in here as well. Key spill, key spill simple. And we'll show you what some of those things do. There's a lot of really cool stuff in here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try out the simple keyer because this one will obviously make life a lot easier if we can do it in a simple manner. So we're going to select our guy here, and then we're going to choose our, our chroma key simple. Okay, and you'll see it starts to key it out right here. It doesn't do a very good job right off the bat. So what we have to do, this is the simple one, so there's not a lot to do here. We just have to adjust this until we get a good, nice, solid key. Okay, and you can see here this did a pretty good job. We're not seeing through him here. We are getting a little bit of green edge around him, but that's okay, we'll fix that in just a second. But you can see within two seconds, we've got him keyed out over that background. So now we're actually going to go back to our filters here and we can come up here and we can look at this alpha channel adjust. And what this is gonna do is it's going to allow us to adjust that little mat that's around him. So we're gonna select that. And now you can see here, we've got the alpha channel adjust here. And we've got a few things we can choose from. We can choose shave, shrink hard, shrink soft, grow hard, grow soft, threshold, and blur. And they all have slightly different functions. For most people, the shrink soft is probably going to be what they need. And if we turn that on here, you'll see instantly that little edge around him disappeared. And we can actually adjust that even further. And you can see if we go back this way, you can see the green starts to appear, especially around his hair. You can see it right here. It's tough to tell because this background's a little bit greenish in color, but as we raise that amount, you'll see the green around his head start to disappear a little bit till right there where it's pretty much gone. Okay, and that what that's essentially doing is that's taking that edge and just tapering it in a little bit so that that green goes away and it's putting a little bit of a soft edge so we're not seeing you know some real hard um, pixelation there or anything like that. And if we were to switch this, for instance, to the shrink hard, You'll probably see, and actually this one did pretty good, but sometimes you'll see on that it'll start to get kind of pixelated around the edges around him, but it actually did a pretty good job. You can see right here a little bit where it gets a little rough, and that's because it's not putting any sort of softening onto that. And if we bring it down, sometimes you can still get a decent result with that. But for the most part, that's going to look a little harsh on the edge there. Um, another option is the blur. Okay, and this kind of makes that ghosting effect there, which is not going to work for most situations, but on occasion, if you use these in conjunction, because what we can do here is, for instance, uh, if we put this one back to, let's say, shrink soft, okay, and if it's off, you can see the green here, we bring this down a little bit, but let's say you've got a really tough key, well, you can come and you can add another alpha channel adjust, and this time you could choose the, um, the blur, Okay, and you see it does the green again, but you'll notice it's a little less green because we used the first one to remove a lot of that green. But now we can bring this down and just kind of soften up that edge a little bit there. And that helps if you've got a really tough edge that's, that's not very clean. Uh, fortunately, in this case, we've got a really clean green screen, so it worked very well without that. So we can actually get rid of that one and just go with our, our uh, chisel soft. And to show you some of the other ones here, uh, grow hard and grow soft. Those are just going to bring the key out, which is not going to be very helpful for most people because, you know, the idea is that we want to shrink it, not make it bigger. And in this case, you can see we make a real big line around him by using that there. 
Okay, so that's the basics. Now let's get rid of these. Okay, so we're gonna go back to having no key on here at all. And I'm gonna show you the other options that we have. We have the advanced keyer, which is right here, chroma key advanced. And if you click on that, you'll see that you've got a few different options. Um, you can create presets. The other one you can as well. It doesn't come with any to start with because these are ones that you would make yourself after using it. Um, you can choose your key color by clicking the dropper and then just coming here and doing this. And you can see it pulls that edge out there. You can see it looks a little rough there and that's okay for the moment. You also have the option of going red, green, blue or choosing by hue, chroma and intensity. Um, if you've got a decent key, you're gonna wanna go with the green and the blue and the red. And then we can make adjustments here. So in this case, we're bringing up some of the red data just making some adjustments based off of that. So you're just basically doing it on individual basis. So you're doing red, green, and blue separately. Um, you'll find that like if we mess with the blue too much, he'll start to lose his shirt there a little bit because that's blue. Okay, but we can just kind of get a nice key out of this. And again, you know, this is a really good key. We've got a, we've got a nice key around him there. Um, you have options for the different shape. The ellipsoid is going to be the one you want to use most of the time. It's a good, clean one, but you can switch to one called box. And this just has to do with the way that it interprets or interpolates the, uh, the green screen. So I th the ellipsoid seems to work the best for that. Um, you can choose an edge. So you can use a, a hard, fat, normal, thin, or slope. So if we did hard, for instance, you'll see, and it's a little tough to see, but it's a little jagged around him here, just like with the, uh, the other tool that we showed you earlier. Okay. So we can choose, and if we choose slope, we can actually adjust things right from here. Okay, and kind of just make some minor adjustments to him if we wanted. Thin, and this just has to do with how it interprets some of the, the, uh, the green. And then again, you can come back and you can make more adjustments here based off of that. And it just gives you an opportunity. If you don't have the greatest key in the world, you can really start to get in here and just kind of adjust it yourself and just come up with one that works really well for you. For most people, the basic is going to be perfectly fine. And then once you have the key that you like, and in this case, this is not a very good key right now, uh, but once you do have a, a nice key that you really want to use, then of course you can go back and do the same mat things that we did earlier by adjusting the mat around him. And again, you know, we can just keep playing with this until we get exactly what we want. Well, there you go. That's the basic and the advanced gear along with the alpha mat tools. And in the future videos, we're going to show you a few other green screening tools that are included as well.